got done uh, skinning the rabbits. And what I did is I brought the meat in here, washed it off real good, uh, make sure there wasn't any hair or nothing like that on there. And then I had the pieces of the rabbit in, in a bowl, covered it with water, and then put a probably good handful of, of canning salt in there. And the reason for the canning salt is I let it sit in a canning salt overnight in the refrigerator to help draw out the blood that was in the meat. And that kind of, the blood is really what gives it the gamey taste. So, you know, if you don't like meat that's as gamey, you know, that's one way of doing it. It kind of tames it down, so to speak. So, uh, I already did that. I had it in the refrigerator, changed the water on it, and now I brought it over here. Back here, I'm going to do my final inspection of the meat. And what I'm looking for is any little pieces of fat, uh, some hair that I might have missed, uh, go through all the BB holes, make sure that there wasn't hair drug inside, maybe clean out, get the BB out, just clean it up. Clean it up, make it, you know, decent enough to look for, so you can serve your family the meat. So, um, like I said, I'll do, it, do the final, final inspection and the final cleaning right now. Okay, like I said, you want to do a, a final inspection of your meat there before you pack it away. Any, see anything that you don't think belongs there, take it off. Uh, pieces of fat, or um, like I said, there, here's one spot that's kind of feel it's overlooked by maybe some people is right here in, in the behind the knee area. Down in here, there's a there's a pocket full of, of like fat in there. I like to clean all that out of there. I said double check it, make sure you get all the hair and stuff off of it. Give it a final once over. Make sure it's ready for the supper table. Here's something else on these on these loins. Remember if I how I cut the loins out of the off of the rabbit. Just, just like deer or anything else, that, that, that silvery uh, material right there, that's called sinew. And if you really want to tender it up a little bit, you kind of take that, if you could get underneath there and, and uh, remove that. Let's see if I can't get down in, underneath the side of that one. Sometimes you can peel it off with your fingers. That really makes the makes it a little bit more a lot more tender. In fact, I may fry some of these tender loins up for for supper tonight. Sure beats chicken nuggets. <laughs> Rabbit tenders. Peel some of this the sinew off of here. So then you got you remove all your all you got is just pure meat and that's nice and, and uh, this is probably way more than what we'll eat at one time for supper so I'll probably divvy it up maybe maybe keep the legs all together in one one uh, one sitting you know just fry all all legs that way you got all the same size pieces and it's easier to to monitor and fry it up that way. So maybe tonight I'll just have the front legs and the and the rabbit loins for supper. Save the back legs, maybe even freeze them and and save them for another night. Okay, I got the rabbit meat all cleaned up, ready to go. I got the portion separated from what I want to uh, serve tonight. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do with the excess stuff, I'm going to have to put it somewhere, freeze it. So there's several different ways to go about freezing small game. One way of doing it, you know, you can use a regular, you can actually freeze stuff in, in a canning jar. A lot of people don't know that. They think they can just can in them. Actually, you can use them to store a lot of things 
with them. The only thing with difference with with freezing and storing in a in a canning jar is you just have to make sure that you get the right lids. Now this is just a regular plastic storage cap that screws on. It's not like the metal rings with the with the rubber seal on it. So actually a canning jar is a good way of storing dried goods or other things that you might want to keep separated. Like if you're going to freeze meat in here, you know, you put the meat in here and then cover it up with water and, stick, and then label it and put it in the freezer. Now the whole idea of, of covering it up with water is what's going to make the meat go get freezer burnt faster is air contacting onto the meat. So you can vacuum pack it or you can put it in a container and cover it up with water. That, with that being, you know, there's a vacuum packet works great for regular meat. But what I found out that if I'm going to vacuum pack squirrel or rabbit, there's bones and stuff in there. And for some reason, no matter how careful you are, those bones have a tendency to poke a hole in in uh, plastic. And the next thing you think, then you think they're uh, sealed good, and then when you go check in your freezer next time, you see that it, it the vacuum sealed in seal, and you go to investigate in it, and you find out that there's a, a leg bone or some kind of bone in there that actually uh, punctured a hole in it. So I don't really, I don't vacuum pack small game like squirrel and rabbits anymore. Um, I don't use the, the canning jars either for squirrel and rabbit pieces. For one, it's a little bit hard to get the pieces out of the jar lid. Even even though you can get a, a wide mouth jar, it might be better. And sometimes that's fine. I mean, if it's probably stacked, they, they stack real nice in the freezer and, and you can label them there. They're, and they, they're made so they don't, won't bust. So a canning jar, like I said, is made to take, handle the extreme temperatures of cold or hot. Just make sure you got a good quality canning jar. What I'm going to do to save space in the freezer is I'm going to put my portion or a serving size for my family, what I would fix, in a freezer bag. And then what I'll do is... Uh, I'll, I'll fill the freezer bag up with water and get all the air out of it and then it'll lay down, I'll lay it down flat and then that's where it's going to freeze solid and it'll stack kind of nice in, in the freezer. And that's usually the way I do like small game with squirrel and rabbits and such which has got some bones in it. So with, with that I'll go ahead and, and fill it up.